Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Welcome back guys, today we are diving into 3D printing and engineering as we explore fascinating world of Tuesday centrifugal compressors. But before we dive in, let's grasp the fundamentals. Centrifugal compressors, unlike the axial compressors, works by converting kinetic energy into potential energy. In simpler terms, they use high-speed rotating impellers to increase the pressure and velocity of the air or gas. A Tuesday centrifugal compressor takes this concept further by dividing the compression process into two distinct stages. This allows for even greater pressures and flow rate increases, making it ideal for applications that require higher compression ratios and throughput. In today's video we are not only unreveal the mechanics behind the centrifugal compressors, we also design, 3D print, build and test one. So better let's get started. The design featured in this video operates by drawing air through the inlet by the first stage impeller. After, the air is channeled through the design pathways to reach a second stage. Operating like the first stage, the second stage directs the airflow towards the discharge, through the volute casing to reach the outlet. Those two impellers are driven by the turbine. This time we are not using electric motor like previously, we are using compressed air to turn the turbine, which is connected to the impellers by the shaft. It might sound weird, we are going to use compressed air to produce compressed air. And it is. In real world this type of device doesn't find any application because the efficiency of this device will be minus something percent. Except if you add combustion chamber between the compressor and turbine, inject the fuel, ignite it, then it will be a jet engine. But this is another topic. I'm building this device because in the last few videos I did kind of similar thing. And my ultimate goal was to blow up the balloon, which didn't happen. So in this video I'm going to do everything to make this happen. And this is the only reason why I'm building this thing. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay, like the name says, makes excellent custom PCBs, but this is not all they do. You can also order parts that are 3D printed, CNC machined, sheet metal fabricated or even injection molded. About 3D printing, they have huge options of materials. Straight up engineering resins, two different types of metals. I personally have used PCBWay service for 3 years now and they have done every single time absolutely excellent job. My favorite is their ultra transparent resin. I mean just look at it. It's resin printed and it looks like a glass. Absolutely amazing. It's perfect to use PCBWay service if you don't have right machine skills or tools. PCBWay got you covered. And also their service is easy to use, fast, cheap and highest quality you can ask for. Again, big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. But for now, we have to continue with the compressor. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not happy with the result at all. 
Right now, it is just a... Uh... It's shit, that's what it is. So, some changes have to be made. I'm going to do two major changes and one minor. First of all, I'm designing completely new turbine, which have more blades and way more aggressive blade shape. The spot where the air hits the blade is kinda like a bucket shape, hopefully increasing the speed and torque. Also, I redesigned the input. Right now, before the air hits the turbine, it has a curved pathway. I was thinking it's actually better, but it turns out it's not. Because when I shoot the air to the turbine, it made huge difference in what angle and where I point the air flow. Now I change it and the air moves in the straight path to hit the turbine. Those two are major changes. And the one minor change that I mentioned before are those things, and they are for air leaking. Actually they should be already there, but I just forget to print them before. I assembled the device exactly the same way as I did before. So let's see how much it helped. Ok, we are really close to achieve the goal, so it have to be improved just a little bit more. So I really printed this little thing. This goes somewhere here, to block some, like this, to block some discharging air flow. To force this air before it got discharged, rotate a bit more. I stopped myself right here. This is what I was going to explain, well it didn't work. It didn't make it worse or better, it just didn't do anything. Then I tried some different things within the next 3 days and I didn't find any success. I stayed exactly at the same spot. The balloons expanded, but none of them didn't explode. But then I did one really simple thing that did help. Like in the last video, I covered those gaps between the dual housing with some hot glue. This helps with air leaking. Even though it didn't leak before too much, but a little bit it did. So after this got done, I finally exploded balloons for the really first time. In total, I successfully exploded 4 balloons, but after the 4th one, the performance decreases. And also I find one thing inside of the one of the balloons that I tried to explode. It's blue and inside is grey, so it cannot be anything else than one piece of the impeller blades. So something is going on inside there, and I decided to cut the tests, because I have achieved my goal for 4 times row anyway. Also, the impellers have a little wiggle, before it didn't have it. So let's take a look what is going on inside there.
Well, to be honest, it's not that bad. I see most of the wear around the first impeller. Second impeller and the turbine is completely fine. But yeah, the first one have worn a bit like we see here. Other stages are way better, like it's probably a little misalignment. It's standard due like forward or due behind. Overall, this project was success for sure. This two stage centrifugal compressor worked and worked really well. Even though it had worn a bit inside, it's still working. For long? Well, this is another question. But I did explode some balloons, which have been my ultimate goal for three months. So I am satisfied and I can peacefully stop 3D printing compressors. Next video will be about something else. Big thanks for watching and by the way, all the files for this project you find in the video description. Also, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe and like button if you did like the video, of course. And see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to watch the video that just popped on your screen. This was epic.